All right, timer started. Hello, we are Rich and Liz. Uh, we were asked to make a little video, tell our story uh, about our relationship and and uh, our background leading up to where we are now. The specific sort of like look into sexuality and intimacy, um, saving, yourself. saving yourself for marriage. So yeah, hello. This is we've never done this before. This will be interesting. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, a little bit about us. We mm -hmm. maybe tell more than that. We met at a dance in like 2012, 2013, mm -hmm. somewhere in there. And I conveniently stood near him when he did to, stand you know, close to me. Asked for the next person to dance, and so when he mm -hmm. asked me to dance, I was like, I was like uh, "Me?" She was like, "What?" <laughs> and it was a great dance. I think I said Shelly, and naturally, I thought. Didn't 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 think nothing of it, but obviously I thought nothing of it because I never like I never like it took him a few years. I didn't get her number, you know. Yeah, realized. I was a moron. I was so <laughs> dumb. It, it did take a few years of like being friends and in a similar kind of group. She was really good at like getting friends around her and creating a um, group of people that were growing in Christ, spending a lot of time, quality time together, and um, I got to see that. That's what really helped me. So. Um, that's where we met. Yeah. And so I'm um, growing up I always knew that I would if I if I was uh, gonna get married someday that I would save myself sexually for a marriage. Um, I knew that that was the way that God you know described in scripture was was the wise way for um, not only for his glory but for my flourishing as a human. And so um, yeah, I was. I heard an analogy once that really helped me uh, about saving sex for marriage, and that sex is a good thing. It's like a, it's a fire. It provides warmth and heat, and you can do a lot with it. But it's also extremely destructive, um, and you can get burned really bad. And um, so, fire, like fire, yeah, sex is not um, healthy or, or really useful unless it is in the fireplace of a home and unless it's protected and it's in a, it's in a safe, um, solid, committed area. So because at that point it does, it warms. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It so I, I just knew that, um, I wanted to follow that direction and, um, I think you, you felt the same. Yes. Same conviction, similar family background, actually very similar, uh, mm -hmm. overall. And yeah, I had my, my parents, older sibling, um, Heroes of Books and Heroes of the Faith that I had written, or read rather, uh, had, you know, encouraged that. And I saw that as the ideal for sure, and the way to like glorify God, honor God, but also the way he actually designed it. And then the way that uh, I saw as having the most reward, you know? Um, Even like secular statistics. <clears throat> oh, for looking sure. Looking at that, just seeing just so from much a data more, standpoint, yeah, so much more positive. Much data on saving right. yourself from marriage, yeah. Because it's a part of you, your physical, your sexuality, your, your, um, your phys physical, physical side of you is um, such an integral part of who you are. It's, it's mm -hmm. connected to your essence and your soul and that it, uh, and sharing that and interacting with somebody else on that level outside of a commitment and outside of a, a safety and a trust, uh, Trust, covenant. trust centered covenant. Yeah. <clears throat> it, it, it's self destructive. Um, and I am so thankful I, I did grow up where I got to have that imprinted in my psyche, but maybe not know exactly what was happening until close to being married. And definitely on this side of marriage, looking back, saying, Holy cow, wow, thank you, Lord. Um, not that we were perfect by any stretch of the imagination in our own ways, there, you know sins and struggles that we have yeah. um, I'd say that single years. Both of us, like, you know, in our single years, even though we saved ourselves, neither of us fooled around with other people or right. really even were in any First serious relationships outside right. of each other. But, um, like, we're still, we were still sexually broken people and still are to this day. So, right. um, you know, still sinful people. And just because I never, you know, kissed anyone or slept around didn't mean that I didn't have lust in my heart. And, um, I knew I was looking forward to sex someday but I, with my husband, but it was still a struggle at times for sure. To That desire was real and I had to really um, 
know that in my single years, my the purpose of my sexuality, I could I could devote that to Christ, um, to God by by waiting for um, what He designed it for. So, right, no, that's basically it. Um, what about our relationship? Like, hmm. How how did saving sex for marriage and how did that look in our relationship for you? Um, a lot of intentionality. Hmm. Uh, for us, it had a lot to do with authority, I think, of uh, people, parents, in a pastor, good way. in a good way. Like accountability to oh, help okay. us. And we butted heads with authority, for sure, um, on the road to being married in our engagement years, because when we would make a mistake... Months. Or, engagement months. Engagement, oh yeah, <laughs> it was like sorry, three months. Sorry, not yet. It was like three or four months of engagement. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, when we did butt heads, when we, when we collided on... Like we'd made a mistake, you know, and they would have, having authority, having someone to like be open with and trustworthy with, hearing feedback from them, like, hey, you guys uh, need to up your standards or you need to do this now. Mm -hmm. um, that was helpful. It was helpful and difficult. Yes, very, very so, difficult. So, um, yeah, so when you asked me that, definitely a big component was um, having an actual, um, you know, accountability person there. Yeah, yeah. Um, and yeah, on this side of things, I mean, it's such a small amount of time to have to mm -hmm. to suffer, I guess, or struggle. It's a different kind of suffering. It's laying yourself down, I think, mm -hmm. for what God has called as the ideal. Which is building trust for your marriage, because if, <clears throat> if I right. didn't, if I saw that I couldn't trust him to have self, any sort of self-control then, mm -hmm. how, how would I know that he was going to have self-control in our marriage and um, towards, not only towards me, but towards other people right. um, when the time came. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, like, in our relationship, I, real practically, we were careful about, you know, where we were certain right. times a day. You know, we, somebody with us. We saved our first kiss for our wedding day, uh, yeah. which sounds extreme to some people, but for pe two people who had never been in a romantic relationship before, yeah. kissing was a big, right, old deal. Uh, so a lot of weight on that. I mean, direction. just I remember holding this, your this arm was, was like a big deal. This was was hot. <laughs> so, you know, we just had to be really intentional and that was wonderful and beautiful and it's so exciting. Right. But it was uh, like fire. So we definitely right. like and, and once you're married, would you say like talk about talk about after marriage, how that looks like or what that like having saved yourself and has like Yeah. Like after marriage, gosh, it's so rewarding. I'm so thankful that I don't have memories of other people. Um mm -hmm. Or, yes. you know, I don't have um, baggage. However, um, I still am a sinful person and still bring selfishness into this relationship. And I know, not from my story personally, but I know that God is in the business of redeeming and rewriting Man, stories there's no, yeah. when there are mistakes. Um, so You're not disqualified from yeah. the gospel because of your... Um, your decisions and choices and environment, you're eligible. Yeah. <laughs> you're eligible for that. And in for, fact, you've got a stronger testimony. You got something there, and you ways, yeah. really have a, a, a clear HD vision of something mm. because of your experience. And we have had issues in the past in history, and so it's that has really, in good and bad, I mean, that's what's influenced this. Um, yeah, so. I think just, I mean, even looking back on our wedding night and our, and our, you know, we were neither of us had regrets that we had waited nope. we were so thankful negative we were it was not awkward <clears throat> we were just so thankful that um <clears throat> like now is the time to just you know enjoy like I, right. god gave us that scripture space. says in, in indulge that's yeah. the only time you're able to get drunk or indulge and it, it is in the sexual context in the marriage relationship and that's because our sexual union as a married couple is a picture of the perfect intimacy and the perfect union that God has um, in himself in the Trinity and um, we were designed for intimacy with God so this is just a small picture right. of of that um, yeah it's worth fighting yeah, for definitely and there are a lot of couples even after they've been married for years they've got to refight for that they got to fight for that and rekindle that um, that uh, mm -hmm. that relationship that intimacy, yeah, and it we're so it's we're funny. we're so different, yeah. You know, it's not. We have to. I'm always having to learn and relearn and, and yeah. manage my expectations. Before you're, before you're married, like 
I think the enemy does everything he can to try to get you Trip together you before you're supposed to be together. Trip and then up, yeah. after you marry, he tries to do everything he can to not make you not want to be together or create conflict. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Which yeah. is ironic, so really, when you look at it, you're like, wow, I really see God must be right because the opposition is so strong. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, like looking back in our relationship, I remember we had to come for our 30 at some point and be like, hey, like, we're struggling so much more than we thought we would because when, just when we're alone together, like even though our struggles were so small compared, like what we were doing was so minor compared to the world. Maybe our perception of what the world's going yeah, on would be. But there. like we knew that lust was in our hearts. Right. And that's, yeah, you identify the core, the fact that it's sin and it's, you know, before it's time. And that we were intentionally trying to trip together and yeah. like create a sensual sort of aura before sure. it was well, right. It feels good. Yeah. It feels right. And it feels there's good. nothing wrong with I, wanting like wanting the other person. You no, know, anybody who's struggling with that and, and that seems to be the reoccurring theme or pattern and it's like some part of you controlling you and you can't mm -hmm. get out of it. I understand that. I identify with that for sure because I'm human. Yeah. But that's why we have the power of Christ. It's the Holy Spirit. It's Christ. Yeah. It's, it's He's lifted up, and you point to Him, and you look to Him, and you don't. It's not a cop out. You don't. You don't sin continuously because you're saved now. Right. Um, and you don't just. It's not a self sort of like, you know, um, like progressivist. Yeah, you can't rely on yourself. That that ends up saving you, and it's not just your environment. You know, um, it's a. It's definitely a long study for sure, and it takes time. That's, we wanted to make this because we just wanted to be encouragement. We, we honestly, it's just keep going, keep fighting. It's worth it. Yeah. You can do it. Absolutely. Yes. And, and even if you've made mistakes, like. Oh, especially if you've yeah. made mistakes. Just think about how you want to live between <clears throat> now and dead. What is the story? You were big on our story when we were in oh, a yeah. relationship. Like, yeah. okay, Liz, what is the story that we want to tell people? And I'm almost glad, not, not glad for our sin, but I'm, I mean, we were, we had imperfections in our story. Mm -hmm. And I think that just made um, the story that much more powerful because Christ redeems that in us. He does. And, he, does. and he came in and helped us and then like, hey, you know what? The right time. I'm going to help you be, you know, keep your standard even higher than you even <clears throat> thought you needed it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah. mm -hmm. that was what we needed at the time. And um, yep. it was just short, such a short time. And yeah. now we just, we enjoy you know, the benefits of having saved ourselves. And it's so much worth it. It's totally worth it. Definitely. <laughs> to look into your other's eyes and to have a trust there. Yeah. Um, not just in a phys physical, sexual plane, but in a, you know, safety and security mm -hmm. and... Uh, Even you know, emotionally. Like, emotionally, financial, and, yeah. you know, we, we have different, we place different values on that, on those different commodities, you know. Like the guy tends to be more physical and in sexuality and, and image-based and... Mm -hmm. Um, in general, they can be, men can tend to be that way, and whereas our wives can tend to be um, more, how would you say, like relationally or emotionally and viscerally connected mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. So it's like we have to, we're always having to relearn, and you have to be vocal about it. Yeah, you have to communicate. And it's oftentimes she's told, not often, she is more better, she's more better, better more, hence, <laughs> the point. Better she's better at that. So it's like I've got to interact with her and at her game. You know, at, uh, at her skill level, but I, obviously I'm learning, getting better at communicating. So you're awesome communicator. So we're we're, we're working on it. Yeah. We're getting better. I think, fun. I think the biggest thing that helped keep us on track was knowing, remembering that the enemy is the great deceiver, and he is only out there to kill and destroy right. and strip you of everything that is truly. Um, truly worth something, truly mm -hmm. valuable, truly um, gonna fill you with peace and, and purpose. Sure. And his way is usually the easy way. And not initially. fulfilling in the long run. And super destructive in the long run, whereas God's way, it's like, we always talk about the narrow path. It's it's diff it's more difficult initially. It's, um, it's sometimes it's requires struggle. more sacrifice. We're actually called to struggle. Yeah. Um, this is what the way is, is to struggle. But, and you do reps. But then God that is, is the great lover of our souls. And you he's, get strength, but yeah. He's, it's amazing how his glory is actually brought about by when we follow his commands, which leads to our human flourishing, which leads to our thriving. Where did I hear this? But I always forget the quote. I always want to quote the source. But your marriage is a, um, is a 
picture and an image and it's a, it's a ministry for others. Mm -hmm. You know, when you walk into a, a, a church or a house or a, a situation where there's a good it's marriage a there, ministry. it's an aroma and it's yeah. a beautiful, it's a, it's a delight to the kids, to the family. It's a powerful, it's a fortress yes. and a country and a nation, a community built on men, on women, rising up, doing reps, lifting the weights and relying on Christ, on his, on the spirit and the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. That's a, that's what we're called to do. Mm -hmm. And that's when you raise a generation and you've got to be really hit. Was it his, his precepts, his delight is that the third and fourth generation mm -hmm. would be affected. And that's, that's the hard part. I think that's the, the really that. big difficulty is having the vision to see that your actions have an effect mm, on, on the third and fourth generation. Yes. Um, and we're just, I'm just, we're just, we're, that's the game we're entering into. And that's the one I feel totally unprepared for. Uh, <laughs> but it, we'll grow. It, yeah, we will. And that'll be, uh, I mean, that's another chapter for another day. Anyway, any other closing thoughts? What do you think? It's been fun doing this with you. Yeah. I enjoyed this. Thanks for the opportunity. Thank you guys you for, for just talking and listening and, and hearing our story. Yeah. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. And we will catch you guys later. God bless you. All right.